Okay, solve equations. We're going to be dealing with E. Now, we've seen earlier that um, E second ln, if I just put it to the first power, because that would be just E, to, it's like pi. Okay, so you're figuring out this number here to the what power is 18. Well, who knows that? There's got to be a way to do the process to it. Okay, so I'm solving for x. Okay, I see the equation. x is simply a power. So I do what I've always done when I've had powers. I put a parent, uh, a caret key, caret, e to the x power, then parenthesize the base and the exponent. Now, it doesn't look like we have any operations outside of there, so I circle my exponent. Now, normally is when I do the log over log, but I can't do that with e. Here's what I need to do. You need to use this function known as ln. Ln, here's what that stands for. Natural log. Why it's not nl, I have no idea why they did ln instead of nl. That's the Greeks back in the day. Okay, I chose that. So what you do is you put ln on both sides. Remember to put it above that. So what happens is this cancels. Now x is just a regular expression or a variable in this instance. Now you don't, it's not equal to 18. If you took the natural log of that side, you also have to find the natural log of 18, which is simple. You just punch the ln button on the calculator and put 18 in its place. 2.89. It's always going to be an irrational solution. You just need to round it. Okay, I'm not going to do all these examples. You got e to the power of x divided by 5, then after the power you have a plus 4 equals 7. Okay, so you're solving for x, and x is a power. Okay, so you parenthesize the power along with its base. Now, before you worry, circle the exponent, you got to get this plus 4 out of here. Minus 4. So we'd subtract 4, and that takes that side to 3. Now, I can circle that, okay? So, x divided by 5, or no, no, don't do log over log, sorry. You take the ln of both sides. So this cancels, and we have the expression x divided by 5, and then don't put 3, you take ln 3. Okay, 1.10. Okay, now you have to apply linear properties to get the x by itself. You just times 5 times 5. That's the opposite of divide by 5. So x is going to be 5.50. Okay. Or 5.5. Okay, next problem. 3 times e to the power of 2x equals 12. Okay, so you're solving for x, and x is a power. Okay. So you need to parenthesize the base and its exponent, okay? All right, so first, before we get into the exponent part, we have to get rid of the times 3, which we would divide by 3. So divide by 3, and that takes us to 4 on this side. Then e to the power of 2x. Now circle the exponent, but you're not doing log over log when the base is e. You do the natural log of both sides. Now we can just write the expression 2x, linear expression, and ln 4, 1.39. Then you use linear properties. It means get rid of the times 2. Linear properties means you're just getting rid of the operations of what you want to solve for. Operations on the variable side. Okay, 0 0.70. Okay, I'm getting rid of this. I'm going to do one more of these on the back side. Okay, next one. I'll do this one. 2 times e to the power of x divided by 9, then minus 8 equals 6. So... You're solving for x. x is a power. So we do the same thing we always do when there's a power where we parenthesize the power in its base. Now you got two operations outside there. You have a times 2 and a minus 8. you got to do to get rid of the minus 8 first with a plus 8, and then you get rid of the times 2 with the divide by 2. 
So we got a plus 8 and divide by 2 before I worry about these funky operations I have to do within the power. X divided by 9 is what that says, and then you divide by 2. That's 7. Now circle the exponent. We're not doing the log log. We're doing the natural log. So we're going to have the expression x over 9. And over here we don't, but one thing I see people do frequently, they'll just put 7 there. Okay, no, you have to take the natural log of 7. You have to evaluate that. 1.95. So now linear properties, you times 9, 1.95 times 9 is going to be 17.55. Now, pause this video right now and do numbers 1 and 5 on the assignment. There's six problems. You just do numbers 1 and numbers 5. You won't know how to do 2, 3, 4, and 6 till the video resumes, but do 1 and 5 so you're not confused at the end. Okay, now the game changes. First off, I don't have no I have no idea what this solution is until I get rid of these natural logs, okay? So you have 3 times the natural log of x. First thing you need to do is get that 3 out of there and put it as an exponent on the x, x to the third. Minus Natural log of 2 equals 4. What you have to do first is condense. Condense means you put ln just once and you fill in the parentheses behind it. You're going to have an x to the third. And then minus means divided by when I'm condensing. And then I put a 2 underneath it. And then equals 4. Now, here's how we get rid of this ln nonsense, okay? Now, with a log, we just take its base to this power and put that on the other side, but this isn't a regular log, it's a natural log. Ln, you get rid of by making a caret symbol, okay? And putting e as your base. These are not, I know that looks weird, okay? But both sides now become exponents with base e's, okay? So what, why, why we do that? Well, the e and the ln cancel. And now I can just write x to the power of 3 divided by 2. Now over here, you got to find what e to the 4th is. So second, ln 4. Take good notes here because I'm not going over all these examples. It's going to take forever. 54.60. Now we can tell what our answer is. It's not a power, okay? It's to the third power. So normally when I see that, I put three answers. Now today, all these will not be filled in every problem. Okay, I'm just warning you that. So we have x to the third power only. You only have x to the third. So you don't use factor properties. You use your linear properties, linear prop. Then at the end, you apply a radical of a third degree. Okay. So linear properties means you do the opposite of divide by 2, which is times 2. And I find what 54.60 times 2 is, 109.2. Now you cancel that with your cube root. Now the question is, is this only positive or is it positive and negative? That's what you always have to worry about when you do a radical. Okay. Well, it's going to be only positive because that's odd, okay? Odd means it's just going to be positive. 3 second caret, not 3 second x squared. Just second x squared is when you um, have just a square root, but this is a cube root, so 109.2. 4.78. Now, you're like, what about my other answers? They don't exist. It's good to set them up, though. All right, next one. Natural log of x plus the natural log of x plus 3 equals 4. First off, get these natural logs out of here. Before we do that, we have to condense it into 1. So we put ln, you make a parenthesis. You have x 
plus means you're timesing. See up here was minus, so that's why I drew a division bar, but now it's plus. That means it's times, okay? Parentheses x plus 3. You'll have a parentheses within a parentheses, and that's fine, okay? Now, you make these into exponents with a base of e. This cancels, but you need to simplify that other side with the FOIL. Or not FOIL, this one's just distribution. So x times x and x times 3. Well, that's x to the second, that's 3x. Now over here we have to evaluate what e to the fourth equals. So second ln 4, 554.60. Now, you're solving for x. x is not a power, it is to the second power, so two answers, I think. But it's not x second only. See, there's this x to the first power in the problem, so you can't use the linear properties radical. You have to use your factor properties. You should be writing that down right there. Factor properties mean you have to get one, you have to clear one side. Some of you groan and trust me, this isn't going to be as bad as it seems. x second plus 3x minus 54.60 equals 0. Now normally is when I do, it's a trinomial, three terms. I do GCF T chart, but not with a decimal. When I have a decimal, I go straight to the quadratic formula. Uh, that's the song. So I'm not going to be wasting time GCF and tables with decimals because it doesn't work. Okay, So ABC, opposite B, negative 3, B squared, so 3 squared, and then 4A is 1, C is negative 54.60. Okay, And then A on the bottom is 1. 2 times 1 is 2. Now put that into a square second. X squared is how we do that because it's just a regular square root. One parentheses for the three, close it, second power. Minus four, one, negative 54.60, 15.08. Okay, so negative three plus 15.08 equals, then divide by two, so Point zero four. Then negative three minus fifteen point zero eight divided by two negative nine point zero four. Okay, next problem. Again, two logarithm natural logs are logarithms. Okay, they're just the it's like a log with a base e, but natural logs, first off, when they have coefficients in front, they come around as exponents. And when you see those there, you bring them there. So, 5 to the second is 25. You need to put that right away. So you have ln x to the fourth, and it's plus, so it'll be multiplication, 25 equals 6. Now, make both sides into, pow into powers with a base of e. You can see that'll cancel. Write that you can't really foil or simplify that. Just put the 25 in front so it looks more natural. And then I find e to the sixth power, so second ln 403.43. Okay, so x is to the fourth. Well, I'm, I think at first glance, okay, that's four answers, so I'll put it, okay? x to the fourth only, though, okay? So if that's the only power I have, I use the, I don't factor. I do, I do not clear one side. I use linear properties, and then I'm going to apply a radical of a four. So linear properties, I divide by 25. So I take 403.43 divided by 25, I got 
Now you apply your radical four. That's all you have to do when you have just that variable to that specific power. Okay. This one is a positive or a negative though, because it's an even radical. Okay. So four second carat, sixteen point fourteen. So two. So that means I'd have positive two and negative two. Not gonna have those other two then. Okay. Next one. LN, no, no coefficients in front, so there'll be no exponents applied. You have X, minus means divide, divide by 3, okay, equals 7. Now, make them into exponents with E's. So we have the expression X divided by 3 can't be simplified. Then I need, don't put 7 down, you need to take E to the 7th. 1,096.63, okay. Now, X has one answer. It's not to any power, okay. You just apply the linear properties. You don't even need, you don't do a radical, though. You just times 3 to get rid of the divide by 3. So, 1096.63 times 3, 3,289.89. Okay, I'm doing one last one. Okay, first off, you got to condense it down to one logarithm. LN, just put X. If it's just X, just put X. And then plus means times, and then the parentheses, X plus 4. It's plus, so it's times. Equals 6. Okay, to, uh, just putting that into one natural log with X times X plus 4. Okay, so E. Now, you need to simplify this. X times X, X times 4. So X to the second and 4X. Now, on the other side, we will be take, finding what the heck base E to the sixth power is. 403.43. Now, X is to the second. problem is you also have x to the first so you're not going to be able to use linear properties and just do the radical you need to clear one side and apply your factoring properties but we're going to shortcut the factoring part and do the quadratic formula okay so clear this side minus 403.43 minus 403.43 so I have 1x to the second plus 4x minus 403.43 equals 0. Okay, so we're clear. Factoring means you have three terms. It's a trinomial, but I'm never going to be able to do a GCFT with a decimal. Just go to the quadratic formula. Just do it here. So it's going to be 2. B, 4 to the second. A is 1. C is negative 403.43. So we have negative 4, then 2, and then the square root. Second square root. 4 to the second minus 4, 1. Negative 403.43, 40.37, divided by 2, 18.19. Okay, and then the last three examples were last ones were cross out, cross out, cross out, cross out, and cross out. And be, now you should be ready to do two is going to result in a quadratic formula. 
three, four, six, you can just use linear properties. You might have to put a radical. Remember the even odd. 